Hello there, good morning. Welcome to Cradle Roll Sabbath School. I hope that you are well and thank you for joining us today on our online programme. Now it's time to start our Sabbath School. What time do we come to Sabbath School? We come quite early on a Saturday morning, don't we? Well, I've got my lovely little clock here. I wonder if you can see what time it is. Well, we start our Sabbath school at quarter to 10. And I love that my clock here makes a nice tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Isn't that fun? My nice ticking clock. So, you may not have a ticking clock at home like me, but I think you should go find a clock at home. Maybe a watch. Maybe you could use a phone, something that tells the time. And you can use it and you can make it tick like this. And we'll sing our TikTok song. Have you found something? Good. Now let's make our clocks tick and sing our TikTok song. Ready? This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock. clocks tick nicely. Is this time still quarter to ten? I think it is. Shall we sing it again? Can you make your clocks tick? Are you ready? This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. Come to Sabbath school at quarter to ten. Oh, It's lovely to see all your ticking clocks and thank you for coming to Sabbath School on time. Sometimes when it rains and there's sun at the same time, we can see something really beautiful in the sky with lots of pretty colours. Can you think what I'm talking about? What do you think it is? I think some of you might be right. It's a rainbow. Can you see the pretty colors of my rainbow? So many beautiful colors. God made all those colors in our rainbow. Isn't it gorgeous? Now we are going to sing a rainbow in the sky says God loves you. Now rainbows are very high up in the sky, aren't they? They're way up in the sky. So I want you to put your hands in the air and wave them like this because we're going to sing a rainbow in the sky says God loves you and his promises are true. Ready with your hands in the air to make your rainbow? A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow your rainbows were so big and beautiful. Shall we do it again and make really big rainbows? Are you ready? A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you and his promises are true. God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he wouldn't ever flood the earth again. So whenever you see a big, beautiful rainbow, know that it shows God's love for us, that he wants to keep us safe. There are lots of different ways that we can talk to people. At the moment, it's a bit more difficult because we can't see many people face to face. But normally we could go up to people, say hello, give a wave, give a big hug, and it's a lovely way to greet people. But if you know someone that lives a lot further away than you, 
so you can't see them in the street, then why don't you pick up a phone and give them a call? I've got family members that I can call on my phone. How about you go and get your phones from your mummies and daddies and we can phone someone up? And while you're thinking about getting your phone, let's think about someone that we can call. Hmm, now I speak to my mummy a lot on the phone. Have you ever spoken to your mummy on the phone? You have? Well, why don't we take our phones, we dial in mummy's number and we're gonna talk to mummy on the phone. Are you ready? I talk to mummy on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to mummy on the phone and she hears me, I know. Say bye bye mummy, bye bye. Okay, hmm. I wonder who else we can talk to on the phone. We've spoken to mummy. Why don't we speak to daddy? Do we know daddy's number? Okay, let's type in daddy's number and speak to daddy. Ready? I talk to daddy on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to daddy on the phone and he hears me, I know. Say bye bye daddy. Okay, hmm, we've spoken to mummy, we've spoken to daddy. I wonder, does anyone have a brother? You ever spoken to brother on the phone? Let's dial in in brother's number. Are you ready? I talk to brother on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to brother on the phone and he hears me. Okay, hmm. So if we speak to brother on the phone, I wonder if anyone has any sisters that they speak to on the phone. I'm sure someone does. How about we speak to them? Dial in sister's number. Ready? I talk to sister on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to sister on the phone and she hears me. Bye bye sister. Okay, we've spoken to quite a few people haven't we? I wonder, has anyone spoken to grandma recently? Why don't we type in grandma's number? Let's call grandma. Are you ready? I talk to grandma on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to grandma on the phone and she hears me. Okay, we've got time to call one more person. Let's think we've spoken to mummy, daddy, brother, sister, grandma. <gasps> we forgot grandpa. We need to call grandpa. Let's type in the number. Okay, you ready? I talk to grandpa on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to grandpa on the phone and he hears me. It's lovely to speak to lots of people, isn't it? It means we can keep in touch. But there's one person I want to talk to. I need the telephone number for Jesus. Has anyone got the telephone number for Jesus? What do you mean there's not a telephone number for Jesus? So how can I talk to Jesus if there's no telephone number? Wait, I don't need a phone to talk to Jesus. So I can talk to Jesus in another way. I can talk to Jesus when I pray. When I put my hands together and eyes closed, I talk to Jesus when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray, when I pray, when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray and he hears me, I know. How about we talk to Jesus now? Hands together, eyes closed, and let's talk to Jesus together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are keeping us all safe. Thank you that everyone is well and that you are looking after them, Lord. Please be with us. Help us to have a good Sabbath and a good week. Now we can be reunited together one day in Credo or Sabbath School, where we can all come together and worship you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do for us. 
In your name I pray. Amen. Well done, everyone. Well done for contacting and staying in touch with people, but also for praying so nicely with me. God really does look after us, doesn't he? And there are so many ways that he looks after us. One of the most amazing ways that he looks after us is that he sends some people to keep an eye on us and keep us safe. Now, I wonder if you can work out who these people are. I'll give you some clues. They live in heaven with Jesus and they have the most beautiful wings. What do you think they might be? What do you think they might be? Well, they are angels. Isn't this a beautiful angel? Well, the angels look after us. So I wonder if you could try and float gracefully around the room like an angel. Imagine that you are an angel protecting someone and we're going to sing, thank God for angels bright. Let's sing, ready? Angels are Oh, I'm sure we can do better than that. What do you think? Do you want to fly again like an angel and look after everyone? I think we should. Here, here's my angel. They're gonna fly around the room with us, ready? Angels wonderful so we need to thank God for our lovely guardian angels that keep us safe we've now come to the time where we come and bring our pennies for Jesus have you got your pennies ready I've got mine ready right here look I've got my pennies ready and my penny pot so I think it's time that you should go and get your pennies and your penny pots and we can do our offering together. Are you ready? Have you got your pennies? Then let's sing Hear the Pennies Dropping and come and bring your pennies for Jesus. Hear the pennies dropping penny pot. Well I put them all of mine in so I think I should put the lid on mine. There we go. And let's sing a prayer over our offering. We're going to sing thank you for the world so sweet. So hands together, eyes closed and let's sing. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you good of you to come and bring your pennies for Jesus. Hi friends, young friends, how are you all doing? Today I want us to talk about something that we call fear. To be afraid of things. Now I wonder have you ever been afraid of things? Are you maybe afraid of some things? You see, some people are afraid of spiders. Are you afraid of ooh, spiders? Others are maybe afraid of thunder and lightning. You know, when you hear it from the sky, boom, boom, boom. Oh, that makes people really scared. Maybe you're afraid of thunder and lightning. 
You know, I, I don't like thunder and lightning that much either. Again, some other people are, are, are afraid of, of dogs, big dogs that come after you. Woof, 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 woof. Are you maybe afraid of dogs? You see, we can be afraid of so many things. You know, what I'm actually today afraid of is, is of getting wet. Because you see, the sky is not really blue. The sky is actually full with all kinds of, of, of clouds. And so we could get rain. Now, I don't like to get wet. Talking about wet, I think it's time for a little trick. Because you see, we could be like this glass. And this glass can be filled with all kinds of things that we are afraid of. You see, I'm afraid of getting wet. So we could get afraid of getting wet. Some, some of us are afraid of, of, of spiders. Maybe afraid of big dogs. Maybe we are afraid of, of, of maybe monsters under the bed, although they don't really exist, but we're still afraid of that. Maybe we are afraid of, of being in the dark. Oh, there could be so many things we could be afraid of. And, and you see, all of these things that are things that make us afraid could be like water. Now, in the Bible, in the Bible, there's a text. In Psalm 55, 22 says like, don't be afraid. Bring all your fears, all your trouble to the Lord. You see, and, and that verse in the Bible is a bit like this piece of paper. Because if I were to hold this cup of water above my head, I would get afraid of really getting wet. But see what happens when we do this. It's just like, huh? it's like a trick, isn't it? Look at that. Now look at that. It's just, and now I can hold it even above my head. I'm still not very sure it will hold, but you see, the Bible says that we can keep, give all our cares, all our trouble, all our fears that we're afraid of, we can bring it to Jesus and he will take care of us. And that way, we don't have to be afraid of anything. We don't have to get afraid of, unless of course, <gasps> we take, we take it away and we could get wet. Now that is scary, isn't it? Now that reminds me also of an, another story that today in the class we are talking about. And I'm coming to that in a moment, but I need to get someone for that to show you what that is about. Daniel, that was the name. The name of this young man, quite still sort of like a, a bit of a young boy actually, a young prince who had been taken to a foreign country, but he loved God very much. And he loved to talk to God. And so Psalm 55 would have been something that he would really put into practice. Bring all your cares, all your trouble, bring it to Jesus and he will take care of it. And that's exactly what he did, especially when he was constantly talking with his God by praying three times a day. And the king of this country that had taken Daniel didn't like that one bit. And so what they did in those days, they would, they could throw you into this, this pit in the ground with, with lions. Can you see them even up there? The lions, oh, and, and these lions were, were very hungry. And would Daniel have been afraid of it? I think for a moment, but then he remembered. When I'm afraid of things, I pray. And that's what he did. And as he prayed, the lions, they didn't do anything bad to him, nothing. And the king and all the people saw that when you talk to God, when you trust in God, he takes care of you, even if it's for dangerous lions. Isn't that a wonderful story? So don't forget children, to really keep on always going to Jesus when you're afraid of anything. Shall we just say a thank you to Jesus? Dear Jesus, we thank you. We thank you that even with all kind of scary things, spiders, thunder and lightning, dogs, maybe even lions, any can, anything that scares us, we can go to you and we can ask you to take care of us. We thank you, we love you, amen.
We've now come to the time in our programme where we say our memory verse together. Have you learnt your memory verse for this week? Oh, you have. You're so good. So why don't we say our memory verse together? Our memory verse this week is Daniel. Daniel written in red. Went. Went written in orange. Two. Two written in yellow. His. His written in green. Room. Room written in blue. Three. Three written in purple. Times. Times written in pink. A. A written in grey. Day. Day written in light blue. Two. Two written in black. And pray. Pray written in navy. And our memory verse this week can be found in Daniel 6 verse 10. Daniel 6 verse 10 written in cream. Such a good job everyone, you've learned your memory verse. Shall we say it together? Are you ready after three? One, two, three. Daniel went to his room three times a day to pray. Daniel 6 verse 10, let's say it again. Daniel went to his room three times a day to pray. Daniel 6 verse 10. You're so clever. Well done, everyone. You learned your memory verse. Why don't we sing? I'm glad I learned my memory verse together. So I want you all to stand up and stand really tall and let's celebrate that we learned our memory verse together. Are you ready? I'm glad I learned my memory verse. Well done. Has anyone ever seen a thunderstorm? I have. They're really, really scary sometimes, aren't they? With all the thunder and the lightning and the rain. Did you know that one day Jesus got caught in a storm along with all the disciples and they were very, very afraid? And Jesus just said, storm be quiet and the storm passed away now sometimes it can feel like we're in a bit of a storm and all we need to do is smile at the storm because jesus will make everything better we're going to sing a song about it so i want you to copy all the actions from me as we sing with jesus in the vessel you can smile at the storm are you ready with Jesus in the vessel you can smile at the storm Smile at the storm, smile at the storm With Jesus in the vessel you can smile at the storm As we go sailing home Sailing, sailing home Sailing, sailing home With Jesus in the vessel you can smile at the storm such a good job with the actions. I think we should do it one more time. Let's make that sailing really up and down like we're on the waves of a storm. Are you ready? With Jesus in the vessel you can smile at the storm. Everything is possible and nothing should scare us. We had so much fun today in Sabbath school, didn't we? We sang some songs, we had a great story, and we learned our memory verse. So I think what we should do is we should close our Sabbath school with a prayer. So hands together, eyes closed, and let's talk to Jesus and end our Sabbath school. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you that we had so much fun in Sabbath school today, learning all about you and being able to be together even though we're apart. Thank you, Father, for all that you do and please continue to keep us safe and well until we meet again. In your name I pray. 
Amen. Our Sabbath school is over. Let's sing. Ready? Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye. And I hope that you continue to remain safe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye-bye.